All new at 5. Tonight is another reminder of the lasting impact gun violence has taken on many South Florida families and our community as a whole. Students who were freshmen at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School during the mass shooting tragedy are graduating and they'll have to walk across the stage without some of their classmates. 17 people were killed and 17 more were injured after a gunman opened fire on Valentine's Day back in 2018. CBS 4's Austin Carter outside the BBNT Center where that graduation ceremony will be taking place. Well, instead of watching their kids walk across the stage to get their diploma, parents of nine students who were senselessly taken away will walk across the stage themselves to receive a shadow box in honor of their child's memory. I just miss you so much. I love you so much. Mom and dad wish you were walking that stage tonight. For the parents of nine Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School students, Tuesday would have been a day they had always looked forward to their child's graduation. But instead, the day is filled with thoughts of what could have been. We could picture her excitement as she uh, as she bounced around the house getting ready to uh, conclude this chapter of her life and, and move on to what surely would have been a, a bright future. The class of 2021 were freshmen when a horrific shooting on the school's campus happened three years ago. 17 people were killed and 17 more were hurt at the hands of a former student. Lori Aladef's daughter was one of the freshmen killed. You know, I know that Alyssa is looking down here today, but she so vivacious, such zest for life. I know that she would have been going to college, doing amazing things with her life. It's a similar pain for Tony Montalto. His daughter Gina was also one of the freshmen gunned down. He's hopeful that her classmates will allow her legacy to be one of laughter and smiles rather than the tragedy that took her. It's a lot of turmoil. Um, you know, we're uh, we're happy for the uh, her friends that are graduating, but uh, we do miss our beautiful daughter Gina. Many of these parents, including Max Schachter, whose son Alex also should have graduated Tuesday, are turning their pain into purpose, working to make sure that what happened is not forgotten about and is not repeated. He's my shining light. He's why I wake up every day is to carry on his legacy because I know what happens, um, you know, if this if this happens again and, and the torment that that it will cause not only to families, but but entire communities. And all three parents tell me they will be attending that graduation ceremony tonight. It is set to start at 7 p.m. and we have a link to the live stream so you can watch it on our website, cbsmiami.com. Reporting in Sunrise, I'm Austin Carter, CBS 4 News.